Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to day two here on the Rogero Diodato theme week. I am your host, Mood616, and thank you once again for stopping in, guys. Alrighty, yeah, day two is here, and continue along with the Rogero Diodato uh, theme week. So yeah, for day two, I uh, decided to go with this one from 1985. Uh, this one is a little different because it is more of a blend of uh, uh, action and horror and thriller and all those type of genres put together and, and you know whatnot and stuff so yeah from 1985 and this one is called cut and run um this one right here is starring so many familiar faces it's got uh, uh richard lynch uh, plays the drug uh, drug cartel leader in this one you got appearances by karen black um so many familiar faces in this one leonard man uh, is, he's the camera guy in this one uh willie ames who was the guy from uh, charles in charge and eight is enough uh, the goofy guy from Charles in Charge, which he actually plays the boss's son in this one. Um, who else is in this one? Uh, Michael Berryman, um, and actually, uh, at the time, Ruggiero Di Dotto's girlfriend, uh, which her name is uh, Valentina Forte, very, very beautiful girl. Um, but yeah, and uh, oh, actually, and um, who else is in this one? Eric LaSalle from ER. <laughs> so there's a lot of familiar faces in this one. Uh, like Ruggiero Di Dotto says in the beginning of this film, he kind of introduces the film. He says, you know, it wasn't really necessarily a low-budget film because, you know, you got lots of really good American actors and stuff in there, which, yeah, it shows, man, lots of familiar faces. Um, Emily Blunt, who plays the lead in this film, unfortunately, she passed away, I believe, a few years ago in 2010, so that's unfortunate, but... Uh, but yeah, getting into the plot of this one, uh, centers around your two main characters, uh, Emily Blunt. She is a, uh, 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 film reporter, <laughs> a TV reporter. Anyways, she is, uh, you know, very, very ambitious and whatnot. So one time, or one day, her and her, uh, uh, camera guy, they're, you know, investigating this series of grisly homicides and whatnot around the city and stuff. Um, which ultimately leads them to... Uh, the Amazon jungle. So what's happened is uh, all these murders and stuff that are taking place are actually, you know, they're all due to this drug cartel that's down in the Amazon, which is run by Richard Lynch's character and stuff like that. Uh, also, not only they were they were just investigating these grizzly murders, along with the grizzly murders went along with uh, uh, their boss, her boss, his son was actually kidnapped and um, has gone missing too. The two stories collide they end up in the jungle, and now they gotta basically fight for their survival because they gotta fight against these, uh, well, basically to survive against, you know, the drug cartel, and of course, what's in the jungle, you know, you got all these crazy deadly animals and whatnot and stuff like that, and of course, you've got, uh, um, he, Richard Lynch's cartel is actually run by, like, these crazy cannibalistic, um, you know, native tribe members and stuff like that, too, so you got all this going on and whatnot, so basically the premise is they have to go into the jungle to, uh, you know, get her story along with saving her boss's son, which is played by, uh, um, what's his face? Uh, um, Willie Ames. <laughs> I'm so bad with names. But anyways, yeah, so you go into the jungle. Anyways, that's the premise of your film right there. Uh, now my thoughts on this one? Really, really fantastic film, man. Really fun stuff. It just captures, it's so Ruggiero Di Dotto. He, basically when he introduces this film, he kind of says that, uh, you know, he didn't want to make a Cannibal Holocaust too. But this is what he wanted to make. A more kind of action thriller, uh, you know, kind of horror related, ultra violent type deal. You know, basically Cannibal Holocaust, you got the whole reporter thing going on there. This one you got the reporter and ending up in the jungle also. But this one's more of an action film. But it does have an ultra, it has its ultra violence and really, really gory moments. Um, with that said, man, this version is the fully uncut version. If you ever watch Cut and Run and it's cut, you're missing a lot of... Uh, basically footage from the film it's really unfortunate because the cut version is terribly cut like it cuts out all the gore cuts out full scenes in the film uh with that said too when you're watching this movie some of the scenes you can tell that are cut because they're actually dubbed in the original uh italian uh dub this movie is actually shot in english but the original version is all in italian so those scenes are just dubbed and you got to read them and stuff but you can really see what was cut out of the film which is insane because there's like full out scenes, you know, basically the scene, the very first scene in this film where, uh, you know, the reporters, they go to this house to investigate these murders and stuff like that. That whole scene is cut out. It's just a massacre and the whole scene is cut out and whatnot. 
But uh, yeah, Regero Di Dotto fashion, really intense, awesome gore in this one. Some really nasty gore and shit like that. I think the cannibalism in the film is kind of just implied, you know, because you are in the jungle. There's actually no scenes of like real cannibalism and stuff like that, but it's kind of just implied that the natives, that's what they're, you know, that's what they do um, in their tribe and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, really, really fun ass film. Uh, great action. Um, lots of really good scenes like in, you know, in planes and, you know, helicopter scenes, good action scenes with, you know, shooting and stuff like that. Really well done film. Um, and I love all the appearances in this one, like just random actors, like, you know, we got Karen Black, she's back in the studio. Um, meanwhile, while the, uh, you know, the, the reporters are always reporting back to the studio, which is Miami and stuff, and it's like a live feed, so they're watching what's going on and stuff. And she's in the studio, um, an interesting, uh, you know, appearance by Eric. Eric LaSalle in this one, <laughs> it's kind of interesting and stuff, but yeah, just lots of familiar faces, Richard Lynch does a great job, he's always good as the bad guy, I mean, he's just, he just looks that part, you know, he just fits, fits the profile so much. Uh, Michael Berryman, that actually doesn't even say a word in this movie, he plays like, it's kind of like the leader of this tribe or something like that, and he's kind of the real sadistic one that gets the job done and stuff like that, so... Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool role and stuff, but uh, yeah, overall, great film, man. Great cinematography in this one. They, like I said, it's not very low budget because they did spend a lot of money on, you know, filming this one, getting some actors. Um, great, great soundtrack in this film, too. Um, you can hear the theme right now. I actually used the theme in the intro for this series. Uh, it's done by Claudio Simonati, um, of course, from Goblin. I love this scene, man. It's so 80s cheese, but it's just fantastic, man. It really fits the movie, movie too, because, you know, it's it's not, like, overly crazily fast-paced, but it has a perfect pace to it, filled in with, you know, lots of twists and turns and stuff. Um, I really like this film because it has a really simple premise, but when you start to learn more about Richard Lynch and what his motives are for abducting, you know, this this corporate boss's son and stuff like that, like, there's a lot of things going on with his character and stuff that I don't want to spoil. I don't want to give anything away, but... I think it's a really well done film, uh, really, really just awesome fun, you know, and again, this one doesn't overstay its welcome, it runs a great length, the ending's awesome in this one too, I'm really a big fan of the ending, it's kind of trippy actually how it goes down because you just don't really expect it to happen like that, um, which is cool, you know, I really enjoy that too, and you know, of course they use the soundtrack throughout the film, and uh, just, it really fits, man, and yeah, of course it isn't out, you know, without its sleaze too, you know. He gets, uh, Ricardo Guidado gets his girlfriend naked in this one, which is pretty cool because she's fucking hot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, this one has a little bit for everybody. If you like action films, if you like really gory, violent, you know, type films, it has it all, man. Great soundtrack, good cinematography, great acting in it. Um, yeah, really, really well done film, cut and run. Um, I would love to see this movie get a Blu-ray release, like a really, really nice, awesome edition. It'd be fucking fantastic. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I just happened on this double feature, which is a flipper disc, so, you know, you know, it's not a one disc, but kind of cool release by Anchor Bay, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just a fantastic film. I highly recommend this one. If I had to rate this one, I'm, I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. Um, I think the film does have a little bit of room for improvement, but just minor gripes, man. It, there's really nothing wrong with it at all. It's very entertaining, and, uh, yeah, you just can't beat that soundtrack, man. It's so awesome. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, but yeah, Cut and Run. Definitely check this out, man, if you've never watched this Ruggiero Di Dotto film. I know it's harder to find. Unfortunately, the, the single release by Anchor Bay is way out of print. Goes for stupid money. You can find this double feature, which I believe is also out of print, uh, for relatively decent prices. So if you, if you come across it for a tenner or something, pick it up. Um, but uh, yeah, Cut and Run. Fantastic blend of ultra violence and horror gore and action. Love it. Great stuff. And yeah, that's going to do it for day two here on the Rogero Diodato week. Hope you enjoyed that review. And yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with day three. All right, guys. Peace out.